everyone, it's Mark Flopsy Shepherd once again, and welcome to my top 15 video of the hardest lemmings levels in the original lemmings game. To compile this list, I asked members of the lemmings community what levels they found in lemmings in general, and this is what we came up with. So enjoy. Coming in at uh, number 15 is the Great Lemming Caper. This level is uh, quite right, widely regarded as a multi-solution uh, multi -solution level and uh, this is my solution anyway and most people find this one tricky just because of the very complex solution they're thrown by the two builders in the skill set because in the fun version they probably be giving the two lemmings four builders between them but it's not too hard I've heard of multiple solutions to this level, but this is the one I've always known, and I don't know of any other solutions. Coming in at number 14 is uh, Cascade, which is tricky level 25. This is quite an early level, and uh, it, quite fr it throws quite a lot of people just because there's 100 lemmings. But the idea is you're only supposed to sa save 10 of them, so it's not as hard as some of the other levels on this list. So the idea is to let the first lemming do the work and then get the last nine as the remaining nine floaters. I think what most people find tricky about this level is the very precise tri um, precise assignments at the end of this level here because, because you've got to use the uh, builder and basher here very, very precisely and you've got to assign the builder at the end very precise as well. Of course, when we're making this list, we've got to assume that everyone's playing this on the original Amiga game. So, with that out of the way, we shall go on to number 13. Number 13 on this list is King of the Castle. This one's quite hard because of the fact that you're only given 12, 20 builders and you've got to save 95% of that with 100 lemmings. Which means you've got to only lose 5. I managed to quite easily do this level with 18 builders, so it's not as hard as some people might think. This is actually a repeat of a tricky level where you're given 50 builds and 20 blockers. So it's a lot it's a lot more harder than this one. And you're expected to be very conservative with your builder use. So I'm gonna skip through to the end of the solution now. And on to number 12. Number 12 on this list is the Boiler Room, which is the second level of Mayhem. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people find this level really hard because of the fact that you cannot go through this flamethrower. But uh, it's not too hard aside from that, it's just getting over to it is the problem. And, uh, when you get over to this builder here, oh, he's just going to come back and block. I'll skip through the solution a bit. Uh, we build a couple of times, then we block and bomb and make a hole here, and then we can build to the exit. So, again, not into hard territory yet, but on to number 11. Number 11 on this list is uh, Mayhem 26, the Steel Mines of Kessel. This is a harder version of uh, Fun 21. A much harder version, might I add. You might think it, the skill set is quite lenient, but really it isn't. The idea is to get through this level, and you can only go through the terrain by bombing. And because you've got, you can only lose the lemmings that you blow up pretty much unless you don't use all the blockers or bombers you can't really lose any more lemmings other than that so you have to do this level very differently to the way you do the fun version of the level you have to build up this chasm here rather than bash your way through it because bashing is not even an option And you've got to you got to remember that you've, you've got to not lose any lemmings to this trap over here as well. But 
being in the last five me levels of mayhem, it, this level is quite quite decently placed for its difficulty. You might get versions of Lemmings where you had 20 of each skill, and them them versions of classes are stupidly easy. We're talking about the 10 put 10 of each skill version here, which is on the Amiga version and the Mac version, I believe. But anyway, on to number 10. Number 10 on this list is it's Hero Time, which is Mayhem number 3. This level is uh, a harder version of Fun 26, I believe it is. And it just it's just a one of everything level. You only get one of each skill, but figuring out how to use them is the hard part. And you can't use the blocker or bomber at all. You can use the blocker, but you can't you've got to save it. Sorry, but that was my phone then. Um yeah, you only got one minute as well, so it's one of everything, and you've got to save 100% as well. With that being said, on to number nine. Number nine is uh, taxing level three, which is heaven can wait, we hope. This is the harder version of fun 16, where you only get given a 30 of each skill except for blockers. As you can see, it's missing from the skill set because Neolemix actually removes skills which has got zeros on them. But the idea is you've got to do pretty much the same as Fun 16 but without blockers. And you've got to do it in two minutes and save every single lemming. This is probably this is probably the first roadblock that people run into in taxing, to be honest, because of the sheer intenseness of the time limit. And you just had to be so precise with the uh, doing the containment pit and uh, keeping an eye on the builder at the same time. And it's not too hard once you get the hang of it because, as you can see, I got did it with 25 seconds to spare nearly. With that being said, on to number eight. Number eight is tricky. Number 26. I have a hunt cunning plan which is uh, the harder version of Fun 8. And it's not a very long solution, but you've just got to pretty much save 100%. Again, without blockers, it kind of goes hand in hand with the previous uh, previous level, Heaven Can Wait. So not too much harder, but it's just such tight tightness with the 99 release rate, which makes it a harder level overall. So on to number seven. Number seven is compression method one. This is probably the second roadblock you'll run into on taxing, because uh, what Lemmings doesn't teach you is if a lem if a crowd of Lemmings go through a trap, only one of them dies as a result, and all the rest of the Lemmings go through scot free. But if you don't know that trick, you're going to find this level very difficult. So the idea is you've got to contain all the crowd up with a blocker, because unless you use the glitch which a lot of people know about. I should probably mention the steel glitch here because this is literally only just flat height almost. So you need to get shaved a couple of pixels off that steel for it to work. But as you can see, the crap, you only lose one lemming using through the traps. And it's possible to save 45 out of 50 lemmings using this method. So with that being said, on to level six. So on to number six. <laughs> Number number six is the ascending pillar scenario, which is the third row, which is another taxing level again, taxing eleven this time. So the taxing levels are appropriately ordered for this list at the moment. This is probably the third roadblock you run into on taxing, just because of the fact that all the lemmings come out facing to the right, and again you haven't got any blockers, and yet again you've got to save one hundred percent of the lemmings. So. Um, and you've got to be very precise with the builders as well to make sure the climber doesn't turn around, otherwise it's going to cause increased difficulties for to this level. Not to mention the fact that you've got only got a four-minute time limit as well, which can wreak havoc if you're not quick enough. But it doesn't it doesn't cause problems in this solution. And you just got to call, do this do a digging pit with builder, which is kind of an alternate method of using the two blocker method that which most instruction manuals for lemmings would teach you 
but despite that, this level is still pretty difficult. So, with that being said, we're going on to level. We're going on to number five now. Number five is kind. Of, number five is a combined entry on this list due to the fact that both levels are pretty much go the same. You can even do the sol same solution for both levels if you choose to. It's called Just a Minute, and this one's Mayhem 16. The other one being Mayhem 27, which I'll move on to in a moment. But the idea behind this is just stop lemmings from turning around in the Basher Tunnel because you need to you need to have, you need to get all the lem all 50 lemmings through the exit by the time the time runs out. As you can see, I do it with a few seconds to spare. And, it, and uh, part two, part two of number five, um, just a minute, is just different. You just lose this ledge here, and you have a climber added to the skill set, which doesn't really add much. I think you get four more diggers as well. No, you don't. I think it's five in the first one as well. But I think this one's even easier than the first one, to be honest, because. I finish with even more time on the clock. No, I don't. I finish with even less time on the clock. Okay. So, with that being said, on to number four. Number four is Postcard from Lemmingland, which is Tricky 19. And I know what you're saying. What is a tricky level doing at number four? But this one is probably the this is probably probably the very first level that stopped your lemmings run. It's only the fifth. It's only the 49th level in out of 120 levels, but this one is incredibly hard for first time players. You have to teach yourself to turn a lemming around without using any blockers or you know any any builders even. And that's extremely difficult. What you have to do is dig and bash to get a climber to turn around. Usually the digger tunnel has to be a little bit deeper than this, such as there's actually a ceiling to the tunnel, but we managed to get away with there being no ceiling. And the important thing is, you make sure this guy who walks back to the left has a floater, because otherwise you won't save 100%. But other than that, if you beat this first time playing Lemmings, you are you you are probably you are probably you you are probably a very good player at this in this day and age. <laughs> With that being said, on to number three. Number three on this list is no added colours or Lemmings. This is Mayhem number tw level 20, so it's about 11, it's 11 levels from the end of the game. And it's probably e most people's favourites in the game across the Lemmings community, to be honest, because the solution is just so good on this level. This is the harder version of Fun Level 4. And uh, like Fun Level 4, you have to save 100% in this level again. So you come up with a very, this is a very good way of freeing a blocker. And at the same time, not stopping the other lemmings from getting to the exit. But then you wonder, how do you save this miner that falls? This is where this is where the, this is where the big trick comes in, and this is probably the best trick in the whole game. You make this lemming mine through the bridge, and as you can see, lemmings can climb up it now. He climb, he mines, and then climbs up to save his friend. And with that being said, we'll move on to number two. Number two is taxing 26 triple trouble. Now this one is just so frantic and you've only given 10 of each skill to do the level with. So shared between three trap doors, that's not many builds to go around. But luckily the top trap door doesn't even need any builders. So that's already a little bit of a saving grace. But you have to be very, very precise with these builder placements. Especially the left hand one. The left hand one's hardest to save because of the curve of this uh, object this terrain here you've got to be very you, you, you end up wasting a builder here but just to get the extra step on now what I do here from the middle always is I always make sure I make a lemming come out to carve the tunnel for the rest of the lemmings and then I build over the exits to do the same to the other side now chances are you're probably thinking are you mad using a builder in the middle but it's, it trust me, it makes it easier. You end up wasting long, less builders in the long run. And that's the second hardest level in the game. 
But before we move on to number one, we're going to go through some honorable mentions. I'm going to keep some fast forward, but uh, first honorable mention is Steelworks. I'm going to just going to skip through this one because it's an honorable mention. But this this is the first level of mayhem, and a lot of people will be thinking, "Oh my god, this is such a long level for the first level of mayhem." And you might think 30 builders is not a lot. It's, it's quite a lot of builders, but it's not in this level. Trust me. And if you don't use them as efficient as I, and even using them as efficient as I am, as I am, I end up using 23 of the builders. But the, th the biggest thing that throws people is the fact that you can splat out the trap door. You have to use one builder just to get that all done. Second honourable mention is going up. This is Mayhem 23, so another Mayhem level. But this is another long building level, so I'm just going to skip through it using the space bar. As you can see, it just involves a lot of building. But you've got the key thing here is getting the basher up as high as you can, so we can actually fall on this bit here. Because you can't actually build against this thing if you come out too low. And then you've got to bash through the trap. And then that's it. Free the lemmings. It's not really a hard level overall. But it's just a sheer amount of work involved. And if you don't know the trick with getting to the top. Then it can be a difficult level. But it wasn't good enough. To, it wasn't hard enough to make this list anyway. For that reason. Next honourable mention is Upside Down World, which is the 13th level of taxing. This level is quite hard due to the fact that not many people know that you have to go the route to take on this level. A lot of people try to go over the top of it, which is not the best way to be because you end up wasting the builders in the wrong place. The idea is you're supposed to go over this, build against a bit of a vine here and then mine backwards. As you can see in my solution, though, I don't end up using both builders, but in some versions it can be really hard not to use both builders, so just a heads up there. But again, I felt like it wasn't hard enough to make this list just because of the fact that... Um, just just wasn't just wasn't as hard compared to the other levels I felt on, that were already on the list. Next honourable mention on this list is... Um, Lend a bit of helping hand, which is taxing level four. And uh, although a lot of people think that this level is really hard due to the spike traps, I felt like it couldn't make this list due to the fact it's got a glaring back route over here, which I'm currently doing. If you come out to the right here and just build up here, using the miner on the pillar and then building out out of it, you can actually just completely skip all the spike traps. For that very reason, it cannot make the list. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people would think this is a good candidate for the list. And the last honourable mention goes to Tricky23 from the boundary line. This level can be hard if, due to people think not noticing the 60% save requirement on it. And the, unfortunately you have to lose lemmings on this. Although it is possible to get 100% on it. I believe, but uh, it's just a case of building, digging, and bashing. But once you've got you, once you've got your head around the fact that you have to lose lemmings due to the fact there's no blockers available, it's not a hard level overall. So that's the reason why I didn't make the list. I felt, and we'll finally go on to number one. And it goes to Mayhem Twenty Nine. Save me. The second the. the one of the latest levels, it, the latest level in the list actually got the number one spot. And no one's surprised at it really. But it is such a beautiful level to end the game I think. It's very very hard and it requires a hell of a lot of crowd control. I mean you've got to use block, you got to use a lot of blockers and you can't blow any, blow, blow any of them up. But luckily I got lucky on my solution and uh, wound up not having to use a digger to stop the splatting occurring. And plus I did the build Builder early enough, builder bridge early enough, such that they didn't splat, not a single one. But we end up losing two here. But um, but yeah, this can this can be a very scary level for people coming up to it the first time. And it's probably it was probably the level that kept a lot of people from completing Lemmings for a very long time. 
And the hardest part is at the end of this level, I think. Because it's not overly obvious that you, these, these uh, steel things are actually sticking out from one another if you're not even looking at them. And the idea is you've got to use the, the, the little pixel that's hanging out to put a build, quick builder and blocker in. Hence the 80% save requirement on this level. Which is very lenient given the level. But anyway, this has been Flopsy. Thanks very much for watching. And thanks to the Lemmings community for helping me put this list together. I'll see you next time.